<sighs> stream labs or stream deck, whichever one of you is fucked up, please fix your shit. Thank you. Hi, guys. It's him. It's the Night Gaunt. I don't remember what uh, his story guy is. I've got seven points. Is, am I reading that correctly? I seem to be reading that correctly. Oh, that's different. Oh, I, I do love me some throwing blades. Quests. Light of the Magic. Maybe three plaques. Good evening to whomever has joined me. I hope your Friday has been delightful. And your weekend will be even more so. Go! I'm not going fast enough. I didn't realize I was going to get attacked, so I kind of uh, didn't prepare, didn't stealth. Stealth is one of my big advantages on this character. I stealth up. Go ahead. Stealth up. Like that. Breaking from stealth. My ranged attacks do a lot of damage. 
this is the archetype, I believe, sort of based on that. And those are sort of my equivalent to that. Give or take. I have a couple of attacks with them. One which ricochets. even more damage if I am stealthed. So I stealth, throw my batarang, let's not have a second one here. Slightly lower range, but does similar amounts of damage. It's really hard for these folks. Fully charged. Boss do next critical hit. You must be Night Gaunt, yes, one of the newest generation of heroes. I'm Dr. Decker, Dr. Deckard Feskin, and I'm a destroyerologist. I've made the study of Dr. Destroyer's organization my life's work. Until recently, I had hoped that it would be purely historical field, but I'm starting to fear that that won't be for me. Until recently, I believed that the threat of Dr. Destroyer ended on that horrible day, but now I hear rumors and see signs that he is returning once more. So many died to stop him the first time. I can only hope that your generation of heroes will have the metal to face him. Head back out. The asteroids will rise up again in a minute and 47. The artifact of annihilation is retrieve the mystery well. Grab the primary. What do we have? Um, gather shards of shining darkness. Isn't that a little bit of oxymoron? Shards of darkness, sure. I, I'd buy shards of darkness. Shining shards? Yeah, yeah, okay. You could have shining shards, sure. Shining shards, sure. Shards of shining darkness. I'm not sure I'm buying that. Got him. That's why this. When you have the time to. Um, ooh, to stealth and set up your attack, this thing's a beef stick. Catch, fools. Did not work out as I had hoped. I'm dead. I would have sworn I got dead enough to finish that. Up. My defenses suck right now. Boosts my damage, boosts my charge speed, perhaps boosts my chance to dodge and avoid this. Well, I didn't see any of that. Mysticism is not. Uh, is that 30? That's, uh, you'll notice that's actually a significant difference. I'm the tiniest, teensiest bit shy. Stealth up again. No, he's a villain.
so I've got 9 out of 10 shards. Got to be careful. You don't want to shard yourself. <laughs> I've got... Then drop what I needed? Seriously? What's up with that? Stealth again. Another villain. Ooh, two villains. That's what happened previously. I, was, uh, I wasn't happy with the way that turned out. Henchman villain. Shining darkness. I get, I still, I think it's a, seems like a, a, an oxymoron. To, uh, deposit the souls. Shards in the floor. I can fly while stealth. So as I said, I believe this is the architect that's sort of based on. Batman using stealth and melee and the equivalent of Batarang. Did. Oh, there's witchcraft. You're looking well, Night Gaunt. Your aura is shimmering today. All the good karma you accumulate for your heroic deeds. Well, yeah. I sensed something was amiss in Millennium City, but I had no idea. A cliffothic. 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 Sometimes they work a little bit too hard to, you know, get a weird sound from me. A cliffothic. Cliffothic. Incursion of this size that occurred, the dark energy seeping in from the chaotic. Cliffothic. You mentioned, has obscured much of the city from my astral senses like a fog. I'm attending to some other emergencies outside the London. I'll be watching for further messages. You may contact, contact me at any time for you. She's got a lot of wealth. Seep, no evil. Reports of demon manifestations coming in. I'll spare you reading all of the deck. Always welcome to Magic Lantern Bookstore. <coughs> Ninja Scrolls already in progress. I dealt a bad hand. Next up. Rescue J. Rickards? Richards. J. Richards. Richard. Aces and eight. 
Escort thing say to the Magic Lantern, but it's for oh, Escort Quests. Always love Escort Quests. Let's go, Jesus. Running away, you doofus. them in every game ever. Yet we cannot escape from Dude, you're not looking so good. Maybe, I don't know, heal yourself or something? But I think I'm going to fail so people can die. Fair. I blocked that. Yet again. <sighs> so I'm a, I'm a little bit of a of a fragile little thing. Also, it doesn't help. Turn to Jay. What's his face? Where's Jay? What's his face? And he was dead. The guy doesn't heal himself. Does it keep fucking changing? He's dead, I guess. Fine. And here, what do we need? We need to close clefophic seepages. for seepages. He's big. He's a master villain. Fight a master villain. I guess that is a seepage.
multiple villains. Not a fan of multiple villains. The other guy was dead. I'm gonna die again, aren't I? I was never in any trouble at all, you know, except for the being down to a, a whisper of uh, life energy. But I had it the whole way. Totally wasn't just slamming buttons in uh, hopes and prayers that something went broke. Nope, that definitely did not happen. Set. Looks like another one over there, another seepage. We have to call them seepages, that just sounds weird. get the hang of making sure that I whack the right things at the right at the right time. Three seepages. Bound, we'll throw the ricochet throw, we'll charge to him with a smoke bomb lunge, we'll whack a few times to uh, get up our energy. Sixty-three bits. I'm not objecting. I'm just curious. Good evening, fat bum. Your health. Ah. It's it, it was uh, not that it was not appreciated. It was just an odd number, and I was. Curious. I am uh, thwarting evil again tonight. Or, you know, trying to. I mean, 420? Sure, people will do that all the time. I have to say, on a, on a personal uh, note, pot-based humor and its um, amusement value has, to my mind, shrunk immensely since it's been uh, legalized in so many places. Pot humor is just not as funny as it is, you guys. But 463? Well, that's kind of funny. She is a villain and he is a villain. I'd rather not... Is a uh... all right. Well, here we go again. Is he still alive? How is he?
be a little more careful in making sure that the first villain is down before I move on to the second. Five, six, I need one more. Are you ready for the weekend, sir? More importantly, is the weekend ready for you? Looking for another seepage. Uh, probably a little bit low. I don't have the microphone moved up. Hi there. Is that better? I hope it's better, because otherwise I'm kind of running out of options. Yeah, it's one of those things I forget far too often. I can't find a seepage. and that, Those are words I really never thought I'd say or wanted to even consider saying. Oop, I think I spotted a seepage. I did. Multiple, we have multiple seepages. Multiple seepages. And there's another clefothic seepage taken care of. Back to the good doctor. Dr. Silverback. Hmm, a super intelligent monkey. I would swear that somebody might have stolen that for their um, their shooter game. Overwatch. <clears throat> Sorry. This is my. Uh, this is a Ren sound. Let's see, uh, I got a lot of recovery. I gained decks. I can lose everything else, so no thank you. No. Uh, also no. Another quest, perhaps. Wolf in sheep's clothing. Defeat the lock shepherd in the great beast bookstore and recover Hecate's key. Harrowing Book 7 of the Five Kings Prison. Got a ching out of that. Well, let's see. Uh, can we find him yet? Make primary. And did it stay primary this time? No, it did not. We have to drop it and re-pick it up. But I don't want to pick it up because my odds of being able to keep the asshole alive in an escort quest are just about zero. Escort quests. Can we please just stop with escort quests? Please. Three is go to the Great Beast bookstore? Sure, why not? I'm sure I can die a few more times. A couple more deaths? Well, okay, maybe one more death and I'll swap to another character. Trying out some of my old characters. My memory about this character is he's an absolute beat stick in stealth. But once he's out of stealth, he's on the fragile side. Here at the bookstore. 
near the Great Beast bookstore. Oh dear, server not responding. If we if we uh, time out, that will be uh, a sign from the gods that uh, I should try another character. Yeah, all right. Gods have a puckish sense of humor this evening. Don't they always? So that was the Night Gaunt. Built on sort of the Batman archetype they have. I have to kill and restart again. I had to do that earlier. I have to say, it is not especially behaving especially robustly, champions. better. Um, Flaming King Kong. So, this is, uh, this is who I was just playing. He's the Night Gaunt. Uh, he's one of my favorite uh, costumes I've ever come up with. I think he looks... Had to do a lot with the sliders to get him to look like that. Uh, Wilbur Waitley, also terrifying. Uh, let's go with Wilbur. Named for a character from um, the Dunwich Horror by H.P. Lovecraft. Go to Monster Island. I have things to do in Monster Island. And this is a character who has the special travel skill of tunneling. Not one that gets a whole lot of use, but uh, it's fun and very different. Wilbur Waitley's mom had, um, let's just say, reproductive knowledge of uh, a creature of the other gods. Very old ones, let's say. And had a couple of kids, and one of them mostly look human. Mostly. And that's Wilbur. This is Wilbur. Uh, the other one, as the story says, favored his father. officer. Uh, he's the bassist for Primus. Just kidding. <laughs> I've got that is good point. I'm heading out to Monster Island anyway though. We've got quests to go there, so we are off to Monster Island. Skull Island, okay? Basically, with more than just big money. So I have, like, one point left. I have one point three. You can see Wilbur is... Um, A 
Wilbur is a fine looking gentleman. Very nice suit. Uh, he's wearing wing tips. Greetings, Earthling. Well, not entirely. Manimal planet. Collect 20 manimal tools. Stockpile of the savages. Recover six until weapon ships. What do these guys have? How much until recognition do I have? That's a currency you can get. I have 23. Ah, costumes. Primary gear, but that's going to be random. Mods. Costumes. Lots of costumes. Powers. Consumable devices. Limited devices. Summons devices. Oh, I forgot. I did have a summon on that. Well, that was a mistake in judgment. I make those from time to time. Hard to believe, I know. And that one has a different kind of currency, of which I apparently have none. I have none. Good, good, good. good. And these are the trainers. My current. Mysticism is at 300, so yeah, I'm probably good to get just about anything. anything. Hidden and deadly, destroy punji traps. Oh, let's go into the ground. And we should be finding, well, punji traps like that. Uh, his abilities are uh, Infernal Bolts and Infernal Blast, Defile. Oh, I smooched my glasses. Ugh. Better. Defile, those are all ranged attacks, either Mystic or Poison. He has a Poisonous Breath attack and a... Uh, Poison ranged AE attack. Just oh, everything that looks like a punji. Why? Why did I not have an option to destroy it? Oh, it helps if you you know. All right, punji sticks. If you're not familiar with punji sticks, wait, what? You guys, seriously? Uh, punchy sticks are a thing from the Vietnam era. Basically, you would uh, dig a hole and you'd sharpen some stakes and you'd put them in the bottom of the hole and you'd smear them with human excrement and then you'd uh, cover them up with grass and leaves and stuff and someone would step on it and it would be awful. That's a punji stick. So we will give him a four with that. I'll hit him with some poison. And some more poison. And just enough poison to finish him. A lawgiver's text. I need a bunch of those. So, I don't see where there's going to be a shitload of punji traps here, but okay. Animal tool and lawgiver's text. More of the same. You'll 
note, I'm also getting big heals from my breath when I'm hitting them with it. Making this character significantly more survivable than uh, the last one was. But I'm not seeing much in the way of those punji sticks, which is what I sort of came here for. I mean, I'm not going to say no to murdering a bunch of uh, animals. Hi guys. Mind a little poison? I didn't think so. Oh, I missed one. You sneaky little devil. Uh, Wilbur Wheatley is definitely a, a hero that needs explanation. You can probably get by with a uh, creepy dude from a Lovecraft story. All right, got punji sticks there. More punji sticks there. Little poison scarecrow. And another lawgiver's text. We're making progress on those. We've got six manimal tools, ten lawgiver texts, and four punji traps. In essence, we're just murdering a whole shitload of bad guys. This is sort of the Island of Dr. Moreau bit of content. Some glowy thing over here. I'll investigate this totem. Ah, that's a magical doodad, so I can get crafting goods from those. Alright, more punji sticks. Got a villain. Will not breathe. Did I get another? I did get another punji stick out of that. Well, that's a bonus. Sometimes you'll uh, destroy a punji stick just because it happens to be in the vicinity of the person you're murdering. Sorry, not murdering. Uh, I'm a superhero. Obviously, I don't kill. I uh, wound. I catch and release. Catch and release, that's it. Although the release is into the custody of the police. some another little smaller pet mob behind you. That's what you just saw. That 
is a gifted sub for Willie, if Willie is about this evening. If not, I shall certainly inform him. Thank you again, Fat Body, as always. I have, I do appreciate you being here. I appreciate all that you have done for me in the stream. You're okay in my book, sir. Fine, we did that. We need, uh, what, nine more lawgivers' tacks and nine more mana monsters. You are okay in my book. And there we are. I wasn't seeing it. I am now. Yes, it is indeed. I don't know how I managed to turn that off, but hi, guys. No, no, I'm here now. I wasn't. I am now. I failed you. Well, I was, but uh, unfortunately, I managed to turn off the thing, which I normally see chat and where I see activity. I fixed it now. All is well. No, 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 no. Don't be like that. I failed. I admit my failure. If, in fact, it had been that, I would admit it. But it wasn't that, and I did step on that trap. Step on a track, trap, break your mama's back. When the problem comes along, you must whip it. Before the cream sits out too long, you must whip it. Oops. I need lots more of those tools and stuff. Alright, we'll give them a little. Condemn, I guess. Yeah, condemn action. And then we'll give him some poison. Oh, he's not dead. Oh, now he is. The nerve of that guy, pretending to be dead when he wasn't dead. Oh, or possibly I missed it. See, it's not just you guys I missed. Don't be ridiculous. <clears throat> Just think of the money I could make if I was uh, running my own OnlyFans. I don't know. I, I, I think people would charge me to look at my OnlyFans. All right, you just need uh, more of you guys to, um, well, hang around and, and, and let me breathe venom at you and, and stuff. Oh, he didn't have a thingy on him. That, that came out all wrong. Hi, guys. Some more um, venomous breath. More manimal tools. More lawgiver tax. That's enough lawgiver tax. I need four more tools. I said tool. Um, fat fingering things like crazy tonight. And no, it's not the booze. Not yet. Later. Sure. Avoid the punji sticks. Because they give me ouchies. Little 
poison scarecrow? Minions of my nemesis. You get to a certain level, you get to create a nemesis in this game. And his minions will occasionally attack you at ir irregular times. And then you get to um, run missions to track him down and fight him. I had forgotten about that. Hey now, Willie, let's not get dirt. Let's get not get, you know, actually insulting by implying that I would watch Amory. There's plenty of free porn that's actually porn. Why would I watch that? Uh, turned on and got. I can't. Can I not get this one too? Okay. Just not sure why I'm not getting any of the bits and pieces I need. Than I was previously. that and eat that. There we go. Manimal tool. Look, my understanding is that Amaranth is an extremely smart businesswoman and is making an incredible boatload of money from her stuff. So, more power to her, but uh, yeah, not my deal. can't imagine how much shit she has to put up with on the internet, making her living like that. It's certainly not something I would want to do. See if you were around earlier when I was occasionally uh, falling in combat on Night Gaunt. This character is a lot more, uh, let's say, sturdy. Yeah, I know. Uh, personally, I think uh, the Asmongold, Asmongold, the character that he sort of more or less plays on stream, um, who plays to his audience, is, is kind of a, a not great person. However, Zack, the real person behind it, is a very smart, personable, thoughtful, articulate guy who I actually admire. Can't stand Asmongold. Really like Zack. Basically, Asmongold plays to his audience, and his audience is pretty awful. But I can't say I wouldn't do the same thing for the amount of money he's making. He's kind of, you know... That's the dream everyone ha had. You know? How could I make money playing, make a living playing video games all the time? Well, there is a way. Now, when there wasn't, didn't used to be. Well, yeah, when he's not doing his bit on stream, you know, when he's not being Asmongold, when he's being Zack. He's really smart, thoughtful, and articulate about games. I really like his stuff. But 
Asmongold, in essence, is a cranked up character that he plays on stream. A lot of people are like that. They have, basically, they have a bit that they do. And actually, that's a lot of the most successful ones. Do I have everything now? Did the, I think we got everything. You know, it's like any other form of entertainment, because that's what it is. It's entertainment. And, you know, some people are going to be... Um, some people are going to be... Um, oh, what is it? Uh, NPR. And some people are going to be um, top 40. You know what I mean? There's going to be more money in top 40. But I'm pretty sure I'd rather listen to NPR, personally. I don't think those manimal savages are going to be bothering us anytime soon. Not with heroes like you on the job, Wilbur Waitley. You are a crafty one, hero. Your cleverness has prevented others from coming to harm. Oh, me. Uh, all right, where's Father Elk? He is north of me. Well, then, I'll dig into the ground. Notice that my cup is empty. Press the AF key, AF key button, the AF key button, and be right back. I managed to give myself the worst paper cut of my life last night. I'm not particularly happy about that. Right on the thumb, right, right there. It would. Cannot recommend. So I'm uncertain if this will be of any interest or anything. Or you guys may already be aware. Uh, I have been playing a fair amount. Oh, I'm getting my ass annihilated here. That was fast. Oh, no wonder. They are skull mobs. Ergo, uh, they will skull you. I got skull. I got sculled real bad. So, I have been playing uh, a chunk of New World of late, as you may or may not be aware. Um, the 18th is uh, an expansion, their first expansion for the game. It's not really important to me because I haven't hit the cap yet. So, if you don't have the cap, eh, expansion's less important. But the um, more interesting announcement to me is um, on the 2nd, they'll be having fresh start servers, so brand new servers will be coming. And they will include a third character slot per um, 
per region for the uh, launch of the um, the Fresh Start servers. And that, that I consider to be really smart and good and friendly to the user base. And so I will be coming back for the Fresh Start server and I'll be giving the game a rest until then. What? Yeah, I'm in the ground, bitches. Aha. Uh Aha. -huh. Uh -huh. What are you gonna do now? I'm in the ground. Lol. Look at me. I'm in the ground. Losers. Well, I can't talk to Father Elk anymore. I did make the uh, master villain here, the Brute Raider. He's really angry. So, uh, lol. Yes, I said lol. I know. Uh, all right, well, I guess, I guess our next chore is to recover until weapons, because uh, I can't find any of the... Oh, wait, slime secret. There we go. Those guys are just bad. I think that's a dynamic event that happens every once in a while. I did not remember them being uh, skull difficulty mobs. And uh, they kicked the living shit out of me, so there's that. So three is find the map to Hyena Swine's Lair. Hyena swine. That's... That, that just doesn't seem right. Hyena swine? Well, let's see if we can find it anyway. That is... That's probably the map there. Let me move over here so I can target these guys. God damn it! I hate it when games do this shit. They can't manage their goddamn camera. And there are so many games that can't do that. Or don't do that. That one was easy. Back into the dirt I go. Uh, one. Recovered until weapons. I have mentioned in the past how frustrating I find it when games mishandle their camera functionality so you basically can't see shit. And that would be a fine example. That I had to zoom all the way in on my camera. It's not just them, it's pretty common in games in general. MMOs in particular seem to be take sort of a yeah, you you can't uh, you can't see anything because of the camera? Well why don't you uh, move your camera then? I find it irksome. It irks me. Hard to believe I know. I'm so even tempered, mild mannered. You might very well question whether I can actually become upset by something. That's got to be one of the UN until armor caches. Yeah, I'm Santa, that's for sure. During my trip to um, Montana to see a bunch of my old school buddies, 
I uh, in informed them of that particular occurrence with the little kid, with the hey mom and Santa thing, and they were very amused as well. one. Would you stop it, you little shit? Thank you. Well, he's a villain. He's a villain. Well, and we have another villain here. But we'll pop out here. We'll start with the breath. Three of them. Three out of six. I beg to differ. I definitely got my block down. Couple of little crafty items, and that's four until armor caches. Armament caches. Potato, 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 tomato. It's like stealth, only, um, Somehow we can see above the ground while we're under the ground. It's, it's magic, um, uh, or something. Need two more. There's one. And a coconut. It looked like there was a coconut there. That's the last of them. I'll dig back down into the ground. Now I can go under the ground, but I can't go far enough under the ground to go under any obstacles. Yeah, I just sort of bunk up against them. Bonk up again. can't go into the fence. See? I, ow, I run into it. So I'm only sort of under the ground, I guess. Still, it's amongst my favorite of the uh, travel skills, simply because it's so weird. Until recognition and a box. A couple boxes to open? Yeah, a couple three boxes to open. Wires level 32. I'm not le yet level 32. That one opened. Uh, not as good. And let's see. Not quite as good. What is that? Oh, the lock boxes, right. sure about that one. But the others are not winners. This I am certain. 
and I have another quest to turn into Father Elk. Perhaps the attack that was going on over there no longer is. There was another character, there another player, by the way. So it's not just me, guys. It's uh, the henchmen are still running around and. Oh boy. Yep. Can I click on him from inside and not get anyone angry at? They can't aggro me if they can't see me. <laughs> I'm smarter than I look. I kind of have to be. And once again, I'm under the ground. Thank you, Father L. Very helpful. See, earlier on, I popped into that, into this, and uh, and immediately got my ass handed to me because see, these are that's a level thirty. Level thirty. Are they showing against the thing? Anyway, I got a bunch of them. In fact. I just got that. Beastman, beat the Raiders, 0 50. Well, no, 0 50. I'm, I've, I'm busy. I've got uh, things to do and people to talk to and uh, and bad guys to um, not kill because I'm a hero, but to, to hurt a lot. Let's see. Uh, what do we got? Major Kwame at Intel headquarters. No, that's. Let's go ahead and. I clicked hide. Why is it not hidden? Cryptic? Cryptic? Go to the beast. I have two quests to go to the beast cave. Take me to the beast cave, then. Where's the beast cave? Uh, beast cave is one. And there's four. There's three. I don't see it. Uh, intercept the uh, hyena swine's couriers at three. Fine. We'll go with that. Now we've got a direction to go to. Now, uh, the, to be the biker Santa, I have to uh, shave this part off so I get just the horseshoe um, mustache. That's the biker look. Why did I not get something from that? I guess it's just a, it's not a, a, a harvestable for um, crafting goods thing. Wait, okay, what's the red here? Let's defend Drew Gorney. Who? Who? Oh, yeah, okay, no. The answer to that question is no. And I'm headed the wrong direction, aren't I? I am headed in the wrong direction. <sighs> when you get old, your senses become a little bit less sharp. You don't hear as well. You don't see as well. You definitely smell worse in every sense of the word. Yeah, your, your taste is dulled. This whole thing's just kind of a bummer, man. Uh, four. You speak to Maling. Okay, well, we'll speak to Maling since we're on our way there. There are we. There we are. Uh, it depends. Uh, their their core tech was created years ago for this game, actually. Uh, Neverwinter is built on the same engine. 
as was Star Trek Online, which is actually pretty impressive. Especially Neverwinter. Neverwinter doesn't look and feel the same, whereas, to some degree at least, um, Star Trek Online does. I always felt they should license their engine out. No, it's definitely not as detailed as... Well, a lot of people hate the Latro maps. And I mean hate. Okay, the rest of them are tougher quests. We'll do without for now. Uh, well, the Latro maps, uh, they have a very good feel to them. Unfortunately, that's not necessarily a plus in the minds of a lot of them. They want them to be functional, not look cool and nifty. So, a lot of people really hate the Latro maps. They're not as functional as most other games. Maps, that's for sure. Who do I have to talk to down I found the Wells Pass respawn. Okay, I, why is he not talking to me? Subsurface standoff. I'm gonna take that one. Right difficulty quest. Go to Lemuria. I have to go to Lemuria? Seriously? I didn't think Lemuria was a level 30 map. Evidently it is. Not a fan of Lemuria because it's underwater combat. And if you've played Guild Wars 2, water combat, for instance, you'll know that adding that extra dimension makes things very uncomfortable to play in, at least for me. I am not a fan of underwater combat, because all the skills you've learned to play the game up till now, their utility is, is lessened, altered, or completely gone. Situational awareness is different, not just because something might come in from above. Simply, it, it all feels different. You can't measure distances as well. So, uh, Lemuria is underwater combat. It's okay in here. I just don't like underwater combat. What do we have? One is intercept the hyena swine's courier. I'm looking for a courier. Stag. This way is more likely. Looking for a courier. Oh, that's a bear. Hey there. Uh, yes, that is actually an extremely appropriate description. This character is indeed using a super travel speed, a travel power of tunneling. Yes, tunneling as a superpower transportation ability. Not flying, not super jumping, not web spinning, swinging. No. I must have taken a wrong cart turn at Albuquerque. So, well caught. All right, I am looking. For a messenger? Is this the beast cave? Um, I myself am a lifer and have been since launch of CO. Granted, I don't play a lot anymore, off and on, 
This is, I think, the second... Uh, I've played a few times over the last maybe two weeks. And I've played in the past while streaming. But in general, I'll, I'll log in for a few days every six months or a year. Something like that. But yeah, I'm a long-time player, that's for sure. And it has once again crapped out on me. Sadly. And as we have established previously, that means it's time for me to play a different character. I'm attempting to turn the, um, not always entirely reliable server infrastructure uh, into a feature. I change characters every time I crash out. So that's uh, Wilbur Waitley. So we've had him and the Night Gaunt. Two of my uh, more grotesque looking characters. Ah. Somewhere in my garage, I have my rules for champions and uh, the characters I had. Let's see. Let's go with Colonel Panic, as he has another very cool movement skill. He will not be... Um, Tunneling to Albuquerque. That's really smart, using the character creator in-game. And making a copy and using that on the character sheets. Uh, this character... He's got the swinging. My favorite thing about this skill is it would work in the desert with nothing to swing from. It is a beautiful implementation of a perfectly cartoon skill. Spider-Man swings everywhere like as if there's a zeppelin overhead. No, perfectly clear. And yet, well, I'm, I'm swinging off something. And we've got... Oh, I think they're fighting. Um, somebody has. has turned themselves into a, a villain. I don't remember this character, I haven't played him forever. Uh, that's the EDAOE. Let's get a, a little bit of lightning. Some more lightning for Von Karstein. I received 30 Onslaught Guardian tokens for defeating the character, the player, who had uh, taken the role of a bad guy. Yeah, yeah, I think it's it's lovely. It's an absurd piece of comic book uh, boilerplate that you that if you've got the swinging skill, you can swing in the middle of the desert. And uh, they did a really good implementation of it here right, as well. I think. Sadly, uh, the City of Heroes implementation of Super Jump is better than the Super Jump they have here, but uh, the the swinging mechanic is really nicely implemented here. So now to remind myself, uh, Builder, Chain Lightning, that's the PBAOE, right? Yep. Thunder Strike, <coughs> Lightning Storm, and Electrocute. I am Electrocute. Sorry. All right, quests. You got them. Go to the desert. Well, speaking of being able to swing through the desert, okay, I'll go to the desert. Oh, there's the plane. Let's 
character is a military experiment, hence he is Colonel Panic, and that's a computer joke. Description. There we go. I wouldn't send my men into any battle I wasn't willing to lead them into. So I wouldn't ask for volunteers for experimentation if I wasn't willing to volunteer first. But clearly, trusting Halliburton's contractors was a severe error in judgment. Topical humor. Ah, well, I obviously have to get that one. Uh, I'm off to the desert. On a horse with no name. Old guy music reference. Well, I've got you beat out by little, but not much. Ah, thank you for the ping, Willie. I will check that out after stream. Let's see. Where have I got to go? Over there. Ah, Snake Gulch. I always liked Snake Gulch. See? Desert. Nothing above me but stars and the moon. What am I swinging off of? Coolness. I am using the coolness that exists in the galaxy to propel myself forward. I couldn't do this if I myself. Viper. Time to... Well... Mess up some guys. A little bit of electrocution never hurt anyone. Oh, wait. Can't touch. I will tell you a story from my youth. I do not remember it, but my mother told me it was true would believe my mother. Um, one time when I'm a wee little kid, I come walking into my mommy and I go, it hoot, it, it hoot. And because I'm me, she goes, oh God, what did he do now? So she follows me into her bedroom where I had taken two keys and I had jammed them all the way into the electric socket. In a lot of ways, I think this explains a number of questions that people might have about me. How I got to be the way I am. Uh, bomb sequencing codes. played this character for quite a while. I 
have no idea if anything resets. Although you're certainly right about that amazing um, uh, fat body guy. I don't know how the hell I managed to gull him into hanging. Say that out loud. <laughs> Soldier, ooh, villain. Hey guys, so uh, I'm going to step in here and just PB AOE you guys down until he's the only one left, and then I'll give him some electrical hugs until he has a little lay down. No, I, I have a guild on Guild Wars 2 that I created for the account, and I'm the only person who's in it. But then I'm almost always representing the guild with uh, my my my, uh, my old Latro that I've been in guilds with now for 15 years. That wasn't a questy bit. A little bit of a lightning storm. I'm I don't how I don't run that guild. I don't run the Swator guild. Just like I don't run the Latro Guild. The only guild I run is um, the Guild Wars 2 guild I started. Named the Magnifying Lens, I do believe. Yeah, it's not my choice. It's not my guild. It was my guild. I was the um, guild leader for Star Wars originally when we started out but after I don't know some length of time um, I wanted to play other stuff I wanted to see other people um, and so I passed off the leadership and it's been passed off since a couple more times but any of the social guilds that I've created or sorry, that has been created for my old Latro buddies. That's not my call. Hi, guys. Again, let me just say hello to you by... So that one complete. What else we have here? We I need to defeat more bomb technicians. Oh, okay, I have to find them by name. That would be a good idea to actually like look and see. Oh, bomb technician. Oh, not a bomb technician. That kind of thing. Oh, like say bomb technician. And a villain. Okay, we got the bomb technician. Do, 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 do. Need, oh, oh, that was a bomb technician. Is that a bomb technician? Nah, that's a bomb technician. Hey, right, guys. Build it up. Give me some more electricity right in the chops. I still need four more. Hey, another player. You see, I told you guys, it's not just me. All right, 
right, that's an anaconda tank. Oh, bomb technician. to go? Oh, they were all bomb technicians. Those were my favorite bomb technicians ever. There were three of them. Just standing together, minding their own business. Until That guy's named Rath. It's a perfectly fine uh, superhero name. I'm not going to give him any crap about that one. No, no, I mention it because I want, to, want it to be clear if I'm playing with, you know, my guildies, that I'm playing with my guildies. Sometimes I will even stream with my guildies. And that's what I was, I was playing with guildies the other night. On my night off, when I wasn't uh, streaming. I was playing with my guildies. You guys are making it difficult for me to find what I'm looking for. And so in anger, I will um, electrocute you. Not to death, of course. Good guy. It's an infiltrator. Still need one more. Oh, bomb technician. That, that'll do it. Bob Technician down. Have some more. Lightning. Oh, he summoned a thing. Isn't it cute? It went away. And over there is five. Free three captives. Yeah, that's another thing, is that I don't play any game for an extensively long time. Basically, the longest I've played any games are Guild Wars, a couple of very long stretches, and Swator, that stretch last year. That went on for, I don't know, four months, five months. That's about as long as I'll play anything, and even then I will take breaks and play other games. They're down here in the pit. A little bit of lightning for them. guy. Ah, uh, is that one? Trying to find it. Yes, I have freed one captain so far. guys just have to, um... Oh! Always love it when you have the synchronized flopping team and they all go down in perfect peace. Dag nabbit? As they say. That was weird. 
was not optimal. I'm missing something. Well, I'm supposed to talk to somebody right around in that area. Oh, they're there. Kid, I've been on the front lines against Grand and Viper, and if you ask me, Viper's the more dangerous of the two. Viper is determined to catch Grand, and if they can't, they intend to design new Grands. Uh, Grand is sort of like the Hulk, uh, only bigger. Bomb squad beat down. Nice work taking out those bomb techs. I just hope the bruises and broken bones they wake up with are enough to convince them to abandon their wicked ways. Yeah, I just bruised them and maybe broke a couple of bones. Honest. Nice work. Of course, you realize obtaining the codes is only half of the mission. We still need to input the codes to stop the launch sequence. We didn't mention anything about that earlier. Not only did you save those tourists, but now they get to tell their friends they went on vacation and met Colonel Panic. We debriefed some of them, and they said that the man in charge of the operation is Dr. Timothy Blank. He's one of the worst Viper stable of mad scientists, and if he's in charge of their Grand experiments, it could be a nightmare. Armageddon closer now. <laughs> Armageddon closer now. It's like a joke. Out of the fire into the freezer. Uh, speak with Lieutenant McKenzie in Canada. Well, you know, it's not a boot time for me to do that. And they won't let me hide that one. Uh, gimp their rides. Uh, Pwned. Well, that's back in uh, in Millennium City. Go to Millennium City. I've got lots of things in Millennium City, but I'm up here, so I want to gimp their rides. No, no, I want to gimp their rides. Where was it? Where was it? Where did it go? Max Planck, Millennium City, Millennium City, Millennium City. I guess I'm disabling warheads. The heck the hell I am. Out of the fire, into the freezer. No. Gimp their rides. Make that primary. There we are. And that is right over the R. I need to destroy three transports, sabotage three heavy transports, and wreck three mini transports. I've got one of those done already, I'm Hi, boys. Evil never prospers. Well, you guys never learn. It's a viper's life for me. Oh, is it? Really? Well, that's shocking. That's <laughs> shocking. Swing it. I 
guys. Um, sorry, I, I I got lost. I was, I was looking for the heavy transports. Was that one of them right there that just blew up? No, crap. The hell, cell door. All right, that's the master villain who I probably yeah. Let's just say cell doors. That's a anaconda tank. That's a very I will investigate this case, which may have crafty bits in it. It had crafty bits in it. It's an anaconda tank. I think that's one of the heavies. I blocked it and took 10 damage. Not one of the things I need to destroy. Disappointed! They are supposed to be in this area. Heavy transports and transports. Yeah, you and your anti-aircraft missiles are pissing me off. That's a heavy, a heavy transport. All right, there we go. Oh, hi guys. Did uh, you not get the memo? Yeah, I'm authorized to blow things up on the premises because I have electricity. It's not a very convincing, you know, impromptu, improvised uh, thing to convince people to let me destroy their stuff. But it's what I had, so. being clickable on. Annoyingly enough. Laggers? No, I'm not lagging tonight. Have some bzzzt. It's delicious, just like Mom used to make. Work, but we're gonna shot anyway. Well, it blew up in a most appropriate, uh, friendly fashion. I don't know if that was one of the things I needed. It was. It was one of the regular trains. Just need to find two more regular transports and two more heavy transports. How tough could it be? I'm gonna bet that's one of them. Or a couple of them. Get within range. Want to give them a nice jolt. Got to get within range. I need 
two more regular transforms. Nope, that's the Anaconda tank. We have established that's not one of the things we need. You'll notice I'm well outside the quest area. But that's where I found more than I found inside, so... I did get a clever eyepiece for whatever that's worth. And some commanding boots. Which seems like an odd thing to have. But okay, commanding boots. I'll take the crafty bits. That's a mini transport. That is not going to help our cause. We need transports. Not mini. tank. That's not what we're looking for. That has nothing specific. I can't even click on it, so maybe that's just the regular transport. It was. How, how delightful. Everybody within range? Alright, that's, that's cool. For me, less great for you guys, obviously. Disable warheads. All right, well, we're, we're going to disable some warheads. Tech. That does not appear to have been any warheads here. Oh, that's right. The warheads would be the things that look sort of like warheads. I guess. Sort of control? Is that the control mechanism over there for this warhead? Let's find out! Okay. I enter the code sequence. Warhead. Disarmed. Or to go. Around for more warheads. It's warheadish. There's no actual warhead coming out. Oh, there we go. Careful with those equations. 
two. Two warheads. Cleaned up. Another one over there, another one down there. Three? After this, there's another one down here. Colonel Panic doing good work. code sequence. Cleaned up another mess made by Viper. Uh, that direction. I swing through the air with the greatest of ease. A rifle crate. That should be more crafty bits. It is. All right. What do we got? Any of these any better? And uh, no, that bit got endurance. This has got ego. I think, which is one of my primaries. Primaries are ego, recovery, and endurance. So that one has ego, but the other has 34 endurance. Endurance and recovery. Now you're talking 44 total, but lower defense, no offense. Yeah, not as good, I don't think. And I can't imagine this will be either. We'll take the intel recognition. And the experience And we've got another. Let's turn in over here. Uh, Snake Gulch. Always one of my favorites. Uh, I think Westworld. Basically, it's Westworld. Recovery as opposed to Ego and Recovery. No. Ego and Presence as opposed to Ego and Recovery. No. by Viper. I think I'd rather not. Well, my friend, welcome to Snake Gulch. Robbing the robots. Cowboy robots in Snake Gulch work much different than any other machine. Cars, MP3 players, no, MP3 players. Toasters, at least not until they had personality chips installed in them. That made them more susceptible to be reprogrammed for evil. But if you can confiscate some of those personality chips, it'll sure help us get Snake Gulch back under control. Like 20 personality chips. Chips. Data. Oh, I'm the poster. Read the sign. Howdy, partner, and welcome to Snake Gulch, the rootinest, tootinest, rowdiest robot cowboy amusement park on this side of the Pecos. Built by the genius toy maker and robotician Tyrell Donaldson. You know, no, Tyrell is the corporation and the sort of antagonist early on for, uh, later. Snake Gulch provides a heap and dose of fun and adventure for the entire family. Snake Gulch attracts tourists from around the globe who come to see the Old West recreated in a contained environment that's both safe and educational. Take off your spurs, grab a sarsaparilla, and stay for a good while. Snake Gulch, we guarantee a good time with your money back.
same thing over here. Same thing. Right. They look different, but it's the same thing. But I think I'm going to call it here for the evening. I may or may not be back tomorrow, depending on how much of the um, lovely beverages I have. But whether it's Saturday or Sunday, I will be back at the usual time of 5 p.m. to 7 p.m. Eastern. I want to thank you guys for hanging out with me tonight. I do appreciate it. Um, when I do come back, I'm not sure what I'll be playing. Maybe more of this. I have no idea, Frank. Uh, when it comes to games, the only thing I know is on the second, I expect to be back in. Something's coming up fourth, too. I don't remember what it was. Anyway, uh, most likely the second for New World is the only thing I have on my current schedule. I will be doing it off the cuff. Until then, I expect. Uh, thanks, guys, for hanging out. I do appreciate it. I hope the rest of your Friday night goes great, and I insist that you have a very nice weekend. So, until next time, take care, and ciao for now. Night, guys.